Nick, uh, do you know what? I've been noticing something. It's getting harder and harder to do quality journalism. And if you want proof, just read the Daily Mail. <laughs> Personally, Sam, I think real journalism died ten years ago. Rip Zoo magazine. This one's for you. Pull one out, guys. Now, to encourage the community to donate, an American medical centre is paying blood donors in weed. Man, that little box drink and the chockey is going to taste pretty good after that. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the program has left Snoop Dogg in a critical condition. Elon Musk has claimed a million people could be living on Mars in just 20 years. Now, to be clear, he's just counting himself and his kids. <laughs> Probably won't visit then. Now, scientists have discovered that traffic noise makes some birds upset and angry, giving them, quote, road rage. Now, this explains that when I cut a pigeon off in traffic the other day, he shat on my car. <laughs> it's also quite strange. I don't get it. There's questions like, why did the chicken cross the road? I think it should be, who taught the pigeon to drive a Kia Sorento? <laughs> you got wings, brother. Get out of the traffic. American police have arrested a man for allegedly using a finger gun to rob a store. The clerk got suspicious when the would-be robber went pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew. Uh, a British man fulfilled his dying wish. This was his dying wish, to be buried in a Snickers-themed coffin. Wow. How did he die? My guess, peanut allergy. <laughs> it's a sweet story, though. It is very nice. He was buried next to his wife, who was in a Kit Kat coffin, <laughs> broken into four pieces, and then lowered into the ground. <laughs> Italian police are looking for a man in a Mickey Mouse costume who is posing for photos, then pulling a knife if people refuse to hand over cash. Demanding cash sounds Italian. <laughs> I hate to pay the tax. <laughs> <laughs> That's Italian Mickey Mouse. Thank you. Yes. That's Italian criminal Mickey Mouse. Masterful oh stuff, God, Nick. Holy. <laughs> holy hell. Now, doctors in Switzerland are prescribing visits to art galleries and museums for people that are stressed and sick. I reckon they should just get Nick Cody to do an accent. For them. <laughs> but that's crazy. You have to go to a, musician, so a museum. So if I'm sick and want a doctor's certificate, I have to go to the museum. Here I was thinking euthanasia was the grimmest thing a Swiss doctor could do. <laughs> <laughs> The studies show that people are getting dumber, with many struggling to concentrate, solve problems. Nick, 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 Pro read the net. Process information is the next bit. Nick. Oh, sorry, man, zoned out. What? <laughs> no, I, we, we are getting dumber. They're right, the scientists. The scientists? We're not getting dumber. Scientists are your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, guys, uh, a Polish community is reeling after the restoration of its 200-year-old Virgin Mary statue left it looking like a Simpsons character. Look at it. It does look like a Simpsons character. Now, what is crazy is that the Simpsons actually predicted this in 2005. Look at Marge there. And what's even crazier is my prediction that the next 200-year-old Virgin will be Nick Cody. Golly! And that